Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to my channel and to a new video. Today's is a build video of a bowling alley slash bar slash cafe slash video arcade or, or gaming place. It's kind of a mix of a lot of things really. I, I try and do that actually if I can, if I'm doing community type lots, I, I try a lot of times to see if I can fit a few different things in so that it makes it enticing for people to bring their sims and because there's multiple things they can do and so here they can they can drink at the bar they can bowl at the bowling alley downstairs they can go to the cafe they can play darts there's arcades there's there's foosball machines there's places for them to sit and lounge and eat there's the tv so yeah it's it's got a lot of different things it's got music i i included some speakers thought about including a dance floor but i didn't end up doing that so i couldn't find a good place to like fit it in where i thought it really blended in well so but in any case i i did this it's inspired by my recent bowling night stuff pack challenge I, I did one of my make me want to buy challenges and we did bowling night and if you're unfamiliar with those I, I do a challenge a pack based challenge about once every three weeks to a month roughly and so yeah so the last one we had was the bowling night stuff and usually I try and get a build or something out beforehand this time I didn't I didn't make it beforehand because I had a lot of other vi videos going and EA screwed up my entire schedule again EA keeps screwing on my schedule they keep doing this and I can't even complain about it because it's always for good reason <laughs> so it's actually good it's actually happy making because I put out a video, God, I can't remember which one it was, but I had a video a little while ago. I think it may have been a cast video or something. Whatever it was, I put one out not too long ago, a couple weeks back, where I talked about how I was kind of trying to get ahead of the game and I, I knew what I was doing for about the next month. I had my whole schedule planned and all of this stuff. Now, I did put a disclaimer in that when I was talking about it and I said that, you know, this plan could change and lo and behold what does ea do they they announced that we're getting the mosquito stuff pack and all of that so the pack came out the trailer comes out the stuff for it comes out we get the new update just all of this stuff which meant that i had to do videos for that my whole schedule went all wackadoodle and <laughs> then i thought i had a handle on the schedule again after that but then then they put out the trailer for the uh the realm of magic so that happened in between that so yeah i keep ending up having to do these other videos and having my whole schedule get all messed up but it's because they keep giving us new content so i mean who can complain about that i i can't really complain about new content so what if my schedule gets screwed up if we're getting new content that's much better i will take a screw schedule and new content any day so yeah so that's what keeps happening so this build wasn't even supposed to happen I didn't even have this one in the schedule it was just something that because we were doing the bowling stuff I, I have another bowling build and that was the one that I was gonna highlight for the video and I do I, I highlight it really briefly in the video and I, I include the link to it and all that because there's a video on it and everything and you know of course I, I I had the link to the video and everything, but I, I kind of felt like, I don't know, I was just sort of in the mood to do an updated bowling build, do something, a, a new bowl, bowling alley, because the one that I did, that's the only one I ever did, and that one is pretty much a dedicated bowling alley. I I think it might have some food in it. I think I may, may have included a kitchen. I don't remember. It's been a while now since I looked at it. But this one here, I got this idea. I said, what if I put a bowling alley on the second floor, or on the first floor rather, and I have all this other stuff on the top floor and that's where you go in the entrance is on the second floor. And, you know, I can, can add in all of this other stuff and sort of make it, I don't know, just more stuff to do and... I have this thought there's this place down the beach I live in a tourist town and there's this place down the beach that few of them actually that they have their bars and they have kind of like these outside areas and one of them has a really nice outside area on the second floor so I thought that might be a nice thing to include except what I did was is I put the bar section inside and the cafe section outside because we have separate bar and cafe in the game obviously in real life the place that I'm thinking about it's it's a bar slash restaurant place or 
grill or whatever the heck you want to call it. But it's got food and, and bar. And I mean, I know our, our bars have food too, but I, I thought a cafe and a bar might be kind of cool. And I find that a lot of Sims go to cafes. Cafes are a big draw and they're really easy to make. I mean, basically you just throw in that, that cafe count, counter and you're pretty much done. You need some like seating and bathrooms, all stuff that you're going to you know, include in the build anyway. So <laughs> I, I find cafes are often an easy add in and they seem to draw an awful lot of Sims. So I do like that. I, I do wish though that the game would kind of automatically, if you have both a bar and a cafe area, I wish it would automatically spawn with a cafe employee person and a bartender, but it doesn't. It only gives you the one that like whatever you designate it as. So I'm sure there's probably a mod that will automatically spawn. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive there's a mod that will automatically spawn it, but I have not checked it out yet, but I know I talked to someone about it and I think I'm gonna look into that. I can't say, actually, I'm not sure if it automatically spawns, but it allows you to have multiple service people on a lot and all of that, which I, the game is kind of limited, I think on how many service people we can have. I don't play enough to know exactly what the limits are, but I think it is kind of limited in, in that realm as far as how many bars you can have. I know like I can never get two bartenders on a lot. It drives me crazy, but someone did tell me there is a mod for that. Someday I'm going to download it. I, I just don't play enough sometimes, so I don't, I don't necessarily remember to, to download the mods, even, even for stuff like that, that I kind of want, you know, but yeah, so so yeah, we end up with the, the bowling alley downstairs, bar and cafe upstairs. The cafe is in the outdoor section. And then it's got like this arcade slash gaming room thing. I kind of wish we had more arcade games. I like to, I think arcades are kind of a cool thing to include probably because I live in a tourist town and we have some arcade type areas. And so I don't know, I think they're a cool thing to include to have sort of adjacent to a bar or I don't know I've, I've just I've tried to use arcades I, I did a resort uh, or a hotel area before that had an arcade area because like I like to make something for the kids that isn't always a playground type thing you know and I've stayed at more than one hotel resort type thing that has arcades for the kids I mean you go on a cruise ship oftentimes they have arcades for the kids it's just kind of one of those things so I kind of wish we had some more arcade machines and some more variety in that realm we have a few things but I, I'd love some more variety in that realm of course I always want for things I want for everything all the time always more stuff I always want more stuff nice that we got the realm of magic trailer so we are getting more stuff looks like we're getting a lot of build stuff too i put out a trailer review on that if anyone's interested and oh i probably should say if you're new to the channel by the way if you're new welcome and yeah if you are new and unfamiliar i put out at least two or more sims videos a week i do a lot of builds builds instruction uh cast fashion shows uh, pack reviews, you name it. I do all sorts of, of different Sims related videos. So if you're into the Sims, definitely hit that subscribe button and the little bell for notifications so that YouTube lets you know when I put out new videos. So yeah. So let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah. I use the skylights in this, the, these, uh, those skylight things that came in Island Living. So that was nice. This is my first non-island build that I've used those skylights in. I thought it would be a nice little thing for the cafe for them to have some skylights, brighten it, you know, have it bright. Ooh, and I got to use the little parking, uh, what do you call those, parking stops from the debug. They came from Strangerville. So if you have the Strangerville pack, you have access to parking stops in debug and I was so happy to be able to use those because I think that they make a parking lot look so much more realistic. I, I was having to rely on the lines from the, um, I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if they come from base game. I feel like they come from spa day, but they're under the fountain section or pool section. I think fountain section, maybe they're, I, I can't recall, but they're, they're basically the foot guiding 
outline things and and I was using those for parking spaces before but now that we have the actual parking stops you don't even necessarily need parking lines I mean you can add them if you want but I just used the parking stops and I thought it looked great I love it I love that we have access to the parking stops that made me so happy and I know that's such like a stupid little thing but I don't know it's just like one of those details that make it better to me I don't know I like those little details definitely like those little details and so yeah so we're almost at the end of this we're kind of approaching the end of this and if you saw my old bowling alley video and I, I'll include that at the end of this as well because why not I, I think my old bowling alley is prettier from the exterior it's got a really kind of cool exterior it's sort of it's red and white it's kind of striking to me haha <laughs> striking <laughs> I didn't even mean that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Bowling alley striking. Get it? Um, I'm such a geek. But yeah, the other one is is red and white, so it is it is more striking actually. But the this one here on the outside, I don't think it's as pretty. But I kind of think the inside might be a little bit cooler just because it offers so many things to do. The inside of my other one, I actually kind of sort of mimicked a bowling alley that my husband and I have gone to many times. Not exactly, but it, it was definitely inspired by a bowling alley that we go to or, or used to go to quite a bit. So this one here was, was sort of just let me throw in a whole bunch of stuff and make it cool. <laughs> And I decided to use green because I almost never use this. Like I, I used a color that I, I don't know that I've ever done a build with this much green in it before. Green is not necessarily one of my favorite colors, but I decided to go out of the comfort zone, do something different. And I think part of it is the Moschino stuff pack came out and green was the, the sort of theme color for that Moschino stuff pack. So I've been seeing this green a lot lately and I said, what the heck, I'm going to do a build with this kind of green color and the chairs that come with the bowling stuff pack are actually very similar. The green color that color swatch for those chairs, the, the bench seating and stuff like that. It's really similar to the Moschino green. And so, yeah, so I decided to use that and try to see if I could make a build with green that was decent. And I, I think it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad considering green isn't one of my most favorite colors in the world. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's good. And I, I, I hope I hope this kind of worked out. Y'all let me know what you think below in the comment section. Let me know if you think it worked, if you think it's like way too much green or if you think it's just right or what. I tried to complement it with some pink to soften it up a little bit because like, I don't know, too much green is overwhelming to me. But yeah, you guys let me know down in the bottom what you think. And if you like this video, since we're already at the cinematics, we were at, we've got cinematics and then some photos and then we're out. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button below and comment, share, subscribe. All that stuff helps us YouTubers out a ton. Definitely look around the channel if you're new and, and see if you like the content. And if you do hit that subscribe, that would be cool to have you a part of the channel. And I appreciate you all spending the time with me today. Hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.